Super Cup champions, Kariobangi Sharks jetted back into the country from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, Monday afternoon, a day after winning their second major trophy. In the last two years that we've been here, we've won the Sport Pesa Shield, we've won the Sport Pesa Super Cup, and now the Sport Pesa Cup which has given us a right to play Everton this year. Zickerson's way here. Zickerson's cut back. Theo Walcott scores for Everton. Dreams are made of this. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. Because of this, this is a big deal. 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 It's not one of the richest clubs in the country, neither does it even possess a sponsor, but I get the best support I want from the best management. Players get the best support they want from the management. We will be the best club that there is in Kenya and in Africa. Nimelelewa Kariobangi, nimeguru ya Kariobangi. Na sasa sema kila kitu yangu ni ya Kariobangi. Blood, nini, kama team, wazazi ya umekuwa Kariobangi. Hadi saa hiyo kwa Kariobangi. Kariobangi, kuna siku ilikuwa. Kwa ni kama fashion kukua kama muisi. Munaishi kwa one room na wazazi wako. Lafu beste yako tu vlani hapo. Hako na maganji. Anadomba ya. Liyo ya kuenda mradi. So, unatamani vya your life. So, vijana wengi, wamta, walingili lezo suizo vitu. There is a lot of peer pressure from friends, and the way we are being brought up in the estate, there is a lot of pressure in terms of getting into crime. There is a marijuana being sold everywhere around. It's easy for, for us to get into using them and maybe getting into crime later on. Kakuja tuka ingia kunyonga na mta, julaifu nkumaso, yu nikuwa nusha ingia form one. Kanyonga na one year, the next year nika baindenga, kakwa na gani yangu, jishi yangu kakwa na magani, tuka shikana jishi ya coach, tuka over throw power juu, sisi wakujia tuka sema mta, The Eastlands area was a hardship area. Uh, I grew up there in the early years of my youth. And you can relate to a, a couple of things that they are saying, that uh, we don't have something to eat, and that if we stay there, then we are exposed to the elements that are there. Nick ali come ali come up na history ya ku form team pale Kariobangi ilikuwa way back in I think it was in 2000 so Nick used to come jeli passion yako nayo na ball alikuwa na kamigi every sunday akiwa off ana come na ball ana come hapo church kuna ground ilikuwa hapo kadogo anaekea my boys ball wanacheza hapo Sometimes I like to say I'm the founder of this club. It's, founder sounds a little bit heavy, but I'll keep it that way. I founded this club in 2001. There used to be some few boys playing in the Karibangi Catholic Church. And I used to leave just next uh, there so I could uh, get out and watch them through the window. I realized that these boys keep coming to play here every day, but they don't seem organized. They come, they shout at each other, they stop playing midway. So I went to Nairobi Sports House, bought some three balls, and on a Friday, on one day, on a Friday, I came and told them, guys, uh, you can play this one it's on the basketball court at the church, and they really liked it. And within two days, I had 25, 26 guys all wanting to play, some without shoes, some without. There's no uniform even, so you remove your shirt, and. 
Right there at the Karibangi Church is where this team started. Akiazaga aliaza na wasi kama ni walivi walivi au kwa ni wasi wa ball. So ile siku ali realize kuna grao pale Karibangi alikamigi day 1 akapata wasi wengi akashindwa hii. Kwa nilikuwa na waste time huko church. Then kulikuwa na maboys wana cheza hapo naona ana direction but ni vijana wanajua ball. So I think hao pia ndo wali motivate anze ku from team table and I can register in the league. From then, Studio Karibang Shaks can grow. There was uh, a, few, a few boys uh, who really wanted to play football, but because of their age, they could not fit in. So they wanted to play football, but nowhere to play. Too. So they approached one uh, Nick Mwendo. I was with Nick that day, so they came and asked uh, that they want to play football and they know they, we can support them in just bringing them some footballs and maybe bibs. So we said, okay, sure, why not? I was still in high school, so when I was in vacation, so I could train them, yeah? So one day, we had a big meeting after the training session. We asked them, okay, what do you want? They say all they wanted was to play in a league, not just train every day, train and wait for these uh, Maisa tournaments and play all boozy cups, you know. We did not know anything about leagues or anything. Of course, we knew Karibang Sport is playing leagues, but we did not know where to start. But apparently, these boys, they knew. Around February or March of 2001, we decided, you know what, uh, we're going to register for the Nairobi League. And I remember it was in the evening at night and I had to take photos in darkness to run and register with the deadline the following day. And I registered the boys very quickly and that's how the project just continued to grow and get better. But we had very small space to play, about 20 by 10. It was enough nonetheless to start a big club uh, that it has become after 17 years. For those many years, I, I was a team manager. I was the medic, I was the coach, I was... But it was so adrenaline filled. The boys were enjoying the league, because they were in the chini. It was KFF by then. It was the Reini Anyamwea. So for me, the team I registered the league. He can play for a while, then he can grow gradually, keep under league, level to level. He can grow pole pole, he can chase a two, he can get a fan, he can get a door. He can get a little bit of a door, he can get a little bit of a pay to fair. He can buy balls, he can buy lunch, he can get a uniform, he can get a tattoo. When we started playing, I remember in that small, a uh, small pitch that we used to have our practice session on. We used to have one ball. So when it got spoiled, that means that that was the end of the, the training session for that day, until when that, uh, that ball got mended. Whenever I got a better job, uh, we did more, we could come and say, uh, we're going to Kibera this weekend, I'm gonna pay for you one way. That time there used to be Kenya bus. I pay for you guys one way, so you bring 20 bob to pay the other way back. Uh, we could play the whole day without food. I have not eaten, I have not eaten, but it was okay because we just wanted to play. When you look at how Karibangi Shark started, we took kids who had been rejected by the established leagues then. The one was called flat-footed and could not run properly. Others didn't have the physical structure to compete in those big teams that were there. But you could see talent in them. You could see that there is somewhere that they are going. But the conditions that were set for them were not favorable. But the talent was there. So we took those kind of players, basically believed in what we saw. So we would... Uh, give them something to come and train, put them together. And I can 
assure you that uh, they used to give the established teams a run for their money. Jimmy's squad was the first aid. He was a fizzy who was going to go to Samoa. He was going to go to Kenya. He was going to go to Kibuyu. He was going to go to Kenya. He was going to go to Kwanza. He was going to go to Kenya. 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 He was Nudungi job yangu ara umoja. Juna juu ni nisha kisini sadi na. Juna feeling ili change. Ada sisi society tu katembea. Tashanga misi ulimu tu. Vile aji explain apa. Sisi ni kana apa? Ni kana mtungi tafauti kwa society ni kuwa na ribu kitambo. Sisi ni mtu tafauti. Na yoni job ni pawa na ili money watu wali nikaribisha shaka sodi do. Ju through God, ana tu mukama watani change. Super Cup champions, Kariobangi Sharks jetted back into the country from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, a day after winning their second major trophy. The team has shifted their focus now to the friendly match against EPL side Everton in July, and they are confident that they will give an impressive display against the Toffees. From 2012, he played in the Nationwide, then uh, came uh, in, in 2016, though Coach Kano wanted to join uh, mid-season, then eventually to Panda to Premier League. After there, uh, to top three in the past uh, in the past year in KPL in 2017, 2018 to Kamali the number six, but uh, we we won the uh, Go TV Shield Cup to Kashida to join to qualify for Cup Confederation. To kind of tolewa in the second round. Uh, that's how Kaibang Sharks will grow, and that's how tuna, tuna look forward to grow Zaidi. Team PG is a size of the size of the Sharks. It's a motor. Kitaja is a motor. So, I thank God for the fact that God is a motor. So, I thank God for the fact that God is a motor. So, I thank God for the fact that God is a motor. Kitu wa dogo tumekuwa tukicheza against Mabuda. So kitu yo define sharks ni a beautiful game yenye tu ucheza. Tuweza kujitoa kwa situations zenye mtu maybe angesema eh hey, hawa toini wadogo sana waizi pita hii level. Na si tu upita tu. Tu upita tu. Mio ni bamba sasa ile tunatesa wasi wasu. Hiyo ni bamba serious kwa sababu sisi sisi ni wadogo. Sisi si wa big ya tisa I started paying attention to Karyobangi Sharks when they were still in Division 2 because they were different. I, I just noticed that they were a different kind of team because of how, how they played was was totally different to what other teams how the other teams play and then they had very small boys i remember the very first time i interacted with with um, the management and was telling them you have very young boys i mean they're so small can they really play in these leagues but then they continued to surprise when you look at sharks uh, total 18 years uh, from inception kicking a ball without shoes uh, in a concrete uh, surface. Up to where we are now, it's an amazing story. But it is because there are some deliberate actions that have been put to it. Deliberate actions of, of getting the best talent. Deliberate actions of having proper administration and management. Karubangi Sharks have a conducive, uh, conducive environment for training. Utali is a place you can call home. Uh, you can look at the measures uh, I was saying the vision holder or the management has taken, basically to make sure that we have the best training field here around. Uh, you can look, uh, you can look, you can look at the way it's well maintained. Uh, beside the facilities, I will say that when you look at the welfare of the players, 
they'll try and give their players the best in terms of the traveling they'll try and give their team uh, the best in terms of accommodation from where we go they'll try and give the team the best in terms of uh, uh, basically helping performance too Kario Bangi Sharks ni team yenye iko na vitu mo positive kabisa kuliko hizi team zingine za Kenya ukiangalia wachezaji wale wako kwa team management yake venye tu iko team structure kiangalia coach na technical bench yake ni wase pia wanajaribu kujipush kujisaidia management ya Karabang Sharks iko top kwanza kwa ofisi kwanza kwa president kwanza ni passionate sana na football kujaribu kuangalia wachezaji wako kwa team ni wachezaji pia wanakumotivate ni wachezaji pia wanakupatia advice hata si tu mambo na ball hata mambo na nje ni wachezaji wenye yani ki life pia wanajiendeleza si tu football peke yake ki life pia wanakusaidia alafu ukiangalia pia coach ni watu wana wanakumotivate wanakupush hard kwa game wanakupush hard kwa zoezi na i believe hiyo ndio kitu player ana need kwa career yake ku have kwa kujaribu kuangalia team ka sharks hawezi skate shida sijui ado ama wachezaji waligoma ama technical bench walifanya hivi hapana vitu zao tu zina run tu vizuri we we are among the clubs that have minimum issues with player welfare because we have good pay because we need to be fair in the world if you are fair then the world is fair to you and if you are playing sports then you need anything can happen to you and if you're depending on it as your livelihood then you need to have adequate medical cover that we have taken for our players uh, we've had i think three players who had career ending injuries but who we've taken had surgery and are now playing the competitive matches now so we we take good care of, of our players management pia wa, wana play role yenye yani uko comfortable tu na kila kitu huwezi kosa do huwezi kosa kit huwezi kosa ti uh, tra, time to travel to travel na shida unaona yani kujaribu kuangalia venye wanafanya vitu management inafanya vitu na hizi team zingine za Kenya wao wanafanya totally different kabisa na ni in a top level unaona place yenye uko comfortable kabisa hata time ya kwenda kwa game uko sure tu yani haunaga stress eti na mambo za nje wao tu kwa field uko sawa we have uh, spread our scouting to every part of his country and uh, that is what has made Kario Bangi Sharks to be what it is today The talent in this team is identified much earlier than it's thought. And uh, we have players who are much more young who are being catered for by the management in terms of their schooling. So the follow-up platform is already created by the management because we have players who are in the local schools scouted, identified by the team, then supported by the team. We have uh, partnerships with uh, Dagoretti High School. We have partnerships with we have partnership with uh, Upper Hill High School. We have a partnership with uh, St. Peter's Mumias. So we have most of our players who come from directly from school. If they are good enough or if they've matured enough, then they immediately step in to the senior team. But most of them we get the talent from there and then we push them for around six months in now under 20 where they're able to build their confidence build their character build their fitness level and then now we're able to get them to the uh, senior team we develop the talent we have confidence in them and believe that if you play them they're going to deliver It's not one of the richest clubs in the country. Neither does it even possess a sponsor that we can uh, actually say that uh, is part and parcel. It's a, a team owned and governed by uh, 
by people actually who uh, are in sports not really to uh, attain more for themselves but basically to uh, try and make the lives of uh, the people whom they are hearing much better kuna kuna teams ziko na sponsorship uh, kwa kwa ligi yetu na unapata kuna shida mob uh, kila siku kesi kwa mtandao kwa nini watu kuja karibu bangshak satuna sponsorship but uh, unapata kila kitu ina flow but the challenges have been there before maybe we were lacking uh, transport maybe we, we have a, a match in Mombasa we have to, to go around and collect some money from businessmen in Karibangi but today things are different karibangi sharks has gone through the various stages to get to the premier league but we've had a couple of challenges that still exist today and that we need to to look at and attack one is of course limited resources limited resources because of lack of sponsors for the league you spend close to 2 million shillings a month running a club on salaries uh, your match day expenses your medical expenses and when you extrapolate that annually then you need assistance but we've not had that and when you don't have that kind of resources then it limits the quality of talent that you can sign but due to the larger problem of the league not being attractive then it's been difficult also for us to find a shirt sponsor for us to find a league sponsor until now we get to this particular point of starting to win once you win then people start associating with you so you can see in the last um, two years that we've been here we've won the sport pesa shield we've won the sport pesa super cup and now the sport pesa cup which has given us a right to play uh, everton this year because of that journey now you can see interest in 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 partners who would like to be with us but it's a very big challenge uh, because if you can sign uh, the talent that you want uh, then the better finance teams then beat you to it and they'll always be miles ahead a football is business at the end of the day the club has to look for sources of revenue and one of the biggest sources of revenue in the football world right now is players transfer we've been looking to also be able to uh, export players to like i said the prestigious leagues and clubs who are able to pay a good amount for a player and thus and the club a revenue we have managed to sell two so far faced good amounts uh, we sold one of our strikers to Cape Town in South Africa and then we sold one of ours also called uh, uh, he's a winger very fast winger we sold him to Vasalund so we look to have good players uh, build them invest in them because it's an investment if you get a player when he's in form one this are they're normally very small and there's a certain physique that say is needed in Europe you have to to buy food for them buy them supplements take care of their strength and conditioning because you're able, before you're able to sell them out so it's very key to us the farthest uh, uh, we have gone and attained basically it just goes back to the person who had the vision for this team and uh, you can imagine what can happen if the moment this team will brand a name in front of its charts you can imagine what will come of this team the moment it's going to have uh, another helping hand you can imagine uh, to the lives uh, that are still growing and would like to be part of this team how their livelihood how their talent growth will be so pure without without going through the strains the team has had for each to attain the level it is now when i feel sharks 8 years coming generation ya kina andres kwa kwanza 15 huko hao watakuwa jina tofauti 
nadhani zitakuwa zije na za Europe tutaka team team tobangu apiga bao na celebrate na karibu bangi kwa kwa top hivi bado lakini nadhani 3 years coming tutakuwa na jana mmoja tutatoa tukapa mahali kwanza nataka tuende Champions League kama Kalibang Sharks at least to compete na hizi other big teams za Africa hizo za kina Lali au kina Sundowns pia wajua kuna kwa gana Kalibang Sharks huko hizo ndo zile team bado hajatufikia hajatusikia vizuri na mimi najua very soon watatusikia so uh, the next na sema ni kucheza tu Europe jua wachezaji wengi wa Africa wana wana look, wana look forward to play Europe at least uh, want to compete na hizo big names za za Europe na wanze eh, ku win zile mabalon d'or ama eh, play of the year wa Africa a plan yangu kwa football side ni ku, kufikisha karibu bank sharks level nyingine ili atujaye achieve nikisha achieve nyingine labda naweza sema ni kucheza Champions League hiyo uh, na hiyo kucheza Champions League lazima tu top league yetu kwanza ndio tu pate hiyo opportunity kucheza Champions League so nikifikisha karibu bank sharks hiyo uh, level naweza jua plan nyingine kutoka hapo we want the fear factor to follow us wherever we are going uh, we want the young kids to believe in themselves early enough to go against the big 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 clubs against big names against big opposition when you think through the story it's a heavy story and now we are a professional outfit i'm gratified about where we are today but the view the view and the future and the vision is to breed young players player like tom decker fantastic talent just joined us no one would ever have thought that a kid who's 19 like this can play in the confederations cup playing against big opposition then means that you get challenged more uh, and when you get challenged then you win more and to be a champion and to be able to get all these cups you have to beat everyone when you look at them and what they can do and go on play in Europe we want to be the club that picks the best young kids put them out in Europe bring them back to Kenya to play for their national team and we want to do that consistently so that in 10 years from today Uh, we can say 10 15 20 players in the national team actually emanate from us and we want to show Kenyans how even from a small beginning even from a beginning where there's nothing even when it is against all odds that if you stay focused you feel the pain you can you can get there and the good norms that we teach them and the good behavior that we show them that you have to respect others that you have to work hard even when you lose But when you lose it's actually the beginning and not the end and that there's always tomorrow and all the teams that we they that, that beat us before uh, most of them today they look up to us and that's a lesson of life that we like to teach as kids it's it's an amazing story Nairobi, 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 that's the city that I am actually holding up. Put your shit back, my nigga, act and it's over. You talk about him, fans, I already had him devoted. See, I'm reppin' one, two, five to the fullest. See, they see me run through five to the fullest. Bless and place the fun, two, I talk, I'm all alive. I never roll, sleepin' on a five, cool and look up. But if you make this, yeah, so, hash my life. See, mama, fall out, I'm kissin', see, I need to cash out. Cool window, keep talk, I could do this in me, I may be cash out. The rapper takin' over, I'm not stressed. Harder to please, so you are mad at the east and out of the least hands full of the heart of the beast who harder to me yet holds you out of believe that I'm the message you are